everybody. Welcome to MT Guitar. Um, glad you could glad you could join us here. Um, please subscribe to the channel before I forget and uh, stay connected with me. I'm going to be doing uh, videos every day and um, been having a great time doing it so far. So looking forward to uh, providing a lot of great content um, that you can you know use for for your guitar uh, education. Um, so today we're going to be doing a Bob Marley redemption song, and um, you know this is this was one of my favorite songs. Uh, it still is in a way, but especially in, in high school when I was learning guitar, um, you know it, the the lyrics are incredibly uh, painful, uh, you know about slavery and everything, and um, the music is sort of very powerful. Um, you know, connected with that, and so uh, I learned this very early on in, in my guitar training, and uh, hadn't played it in a long time, so I'm kind of um, just getting a little nostalgic about how great of a song it is. And when I was listening and playing the lick, the intro lick, uh, I was amazed at how uh, the the melody kind of reminds me a little bit, and the technique of how it's played reminds me a little bit of. West African music, uh, which I, I studied um, a while ago in West Africa, in the Gambia. I uh, studied the kora, which is a 21-string harp lute instrument. But uh, the way that Bob Marley's muting, uh, muting the, the strings a little bit and the way he's hammering on very quickly is, um, is what reminds me of, of that um, West African style. So it's really, it's really a great lick uh, to start the song and everyone's probably heard it and uh, you know to, to really nail it correctly you have to sort of pay attention to the hammer-ons especially so we're gonna do that and we're gonna do the chord progression as well so um, and, and another great thing I'll say is that one of the great things about learning this song is that Bob uh, recorded this with just guitar and voice um, so we have an opportunity to really you know be accurate in, in playing it sort of how it was recorded. So uh, can't wait to, to dive into this, so let's get started. All right, so first off, please excuse the Band-Aid here. I uh, cut my finger um, yesterday, um, and it was kind of a, a deeper cut than, than normal, so uh, I'm fine, and I'll be fine. I just played a three-hour gig last night, so um, it's not affecting my playing, luckily. but. Uh, might be a little distracting to you, so sorry about that. Um, so, to start this song, we're going to, to start with the lick. And um, what you're going to want to do is um, keep in mind this, the, 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 the timing of the hammer-ons. It's, it's uh, quite fast, so a little disclaimer there. Um, so this is a song in the key of G major. And we're going to start with our middle finger on the third fret, sixth string. Okay, so you play that. And then we're going to play fifth string open. And now we're going to play it again and hammer on fast. And then immediately mute, uh, mute the string. All right, so like that. And when I mute, there's several ways to mute. One is is to simply lift your finger off excuse me, uh, off the fret. And the other way is to actually touch the string with your pick. I tend to do both because uh, the redundancy um, assures that it gets muted. So for instance, see how I placed my right, probably it's kind of hard to see, but I placed my pick on the string and I lifted my first finger. Okay. Then we're gonna play the third fret sixth string again and we again mute that after playing it. So, okay, one more time. And then we go second fret, hammer on quickly to third fret. Sorry, and that one we do not mute right away or actually at all, so. Okay, one more time, nice and slow. Good. Now we play the fourth string open and we hammer on quickly to the second fret. And then 
fourth string open. Okay, so let's do that. And then second fret, fifth string. Okay, so the whole thing. Now we, we, we start the phrase again, the same way, except we don't mute it and we go on to the fourth string. So we go. And then, all right, so you got that. Then we do a uh, second fret, fifth string, and then a hammer on to the third fret. And then back to the second fret, fifth string open, third fret sixth string all right so that was two two three two oh three okay so that's the whole first phrase so the first half of the of the intro so what, why don't we do that whole thing nice and slow sorry gosh darn it let's do it again I learned this in high school I, I didn't do all these hammer-ons and mutes and uh, it's it's very powerful to do it correctly because um, it really changes the style so I hope that you take the time to do that um, all right so now we're we are we're on to the second half of the intro which is exactly the same except for one small thing at the end um, and, and you know every no, nothing is ever exactly the same uh, in terms of, you know, um, the physical sound, because so so there's there there are you know li listen closely to the record, but basically it's it's for our purposes it's basically the same. Okay, so unless of course nowadays people can loop things and then it is exactly the same, but <laughs> that's not the case here. So sorry, let's do this again. So I muted this and I shouldn't have. Here we go. Here's where it's different. Instead of just going three two o oh, three, he actually does. It's it's kind of uh, quiet, but he does uh, a, a dyad. It's called a dyad when it's two notes together. Um, there, so that would be second fret fourth string as well as third fret fifth string. And then the when he, when we go to the second fret, instead of just one string, it's again a dyad. Um, second fret fifth string open fourth string and then the last the last note is fifth string open fourth string open and that's brilliant because that's actually a implying a D major um, it's like a D5 sound which is which is amazing because he's turning he's turning what many might think oh is a simple lick into harmony um, and with just a, a little, just a little move there. So that. So to recap, and then he hits. He hits like the first maybe two or three strings on the bass. So like the sixth, fifth, and fourth strings before we start strumming. All right. So why don't we run this whole intro nice and slow? Now we do the chords. Um, first chord is going to be G major. Okay. Okay. Now the strumming pattern is is pretty simple. It's it's uh, but effective. It's down up down up down up, pretty much, um, or four down ups, with a occasional not occasionally not hitting the upstroke. So. See, so after so the first strum, the first beat of each chord, sometimes there is no upstroke on that beat. Sometimes there is. So I'm going to say down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. 
is something you can rely on, but I recommend you um, experimenting with blending that with down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And the way he's strumming it is uh, that with dynamics, meaning that, that it's louder at, at some strums and softer at other strums. So that's something that you kind of have to use your ear to figure out a little bit. All right. So let's go over the chords, G major. E minor, C major, and then C over B, which some people think is G over B, but he's not. He's not doing that. Uh, it's, it would it would sound correct, but uh, he's just he's just leaving that C there. And and basically, if you don't know a C over B, it's it's basically a C chord, but we have instead of the fourth and fifth string, second fret, third fret, we have just fifth string, second fret is all, with the first finger still on the first fret, second string. Okay? So, and then A minor. So that's two beats. One, two, and then three, four. So there's two chords per bar there. And then A minor. Okay, let's go over that. That repeats three times. Um, so let's, let's do that again. One more time. Okay, so we've done it that three times. And the fourth time, instead of going to A minor, we're going to go to D. So let's, let's get there. Triumphantly. That's a D. Okay. Now we extend that for a bar. Won't you help to sing? So the D chord is is two bars, and then we're getting into the chorus. So the chorus is G for a bar. C for two beats. One, two. D for two beats. These songs. Are and then G. Freedom, two, three, four. Okay. Now we're going to do C and D again for two beats each, but all I ever had. And then E minor. And he kind of does a, a more of a, a, a muted, kind of palm muted, whenever the, the E minor happens during the chorus, not necessarily during the verse. So that's a bar. And then two beats for C. Redemption and then G for a bar. Repeat. Redemption song. And then C to D to get back into the next verse. So why don't we um, why don't we do the whole verse together? Whole verse and chorus. Ready? I'm sorry, not the whole verse. Let's do the whole chorus together. Um, we'll start on won't you on the D. Get to get into the chorus. Ready? Won't you help to sing these songs of freedom? Was all I ever had. Redemption song. Redemption song. Okay. Now the the next verse is almost identical except for the second phrase goes to D instead of A minor. So let's do that. Here's the second phrase. Now we go to D. And then the third and fourth phrase are, are the same as the first verse. Go to our D. Again, we hold a bar. Help to sing. We go to our, our E minor here. All right. 
Now, before the third verse, um, there is a bridge. Luckily, we've already kind of learned the bridge because the chords are the same as a, a portion of the chorus. So after the chorus, the second chorus, redemption song, redemption song. Now the C, D, C to D goes to E minor after that. E minor for a bar and then two beats of C, two beats of D. That's the bridge. Again, I'm kind of palm muting a little bit. Okay, and, and after four times of that, then it goes back into the third verse. All right, so that's all the parts to the song. And um, I encourage you to, to practice this slowly and really take the time you need to, to master that intro because those details do matter. All right, there you go. So you've, you've got the uh, intro lick and the chord progression to this, to this beautiful song. And um, I hope you enjoy it as much as, as much as I have or in your own way. So um, please subscribe to my channel. It would, it would mean a lot. And uh, I'm just getting started here. So I um, would love to have you on board um, from the beginning here and uh, leave a comment about any song you'd like to learn. All right. So we'll see you soon. And take care, everybody.